Hey folks, Internet Dude here. In this video, I just want to share with you some exciting electric vehicle charging news here in Saskatchewan. Uh, in a previous video, I'd shown this construction on a new supercharger site in Moose Jaw. Well, that site's not operational yet because the crews did the groundwork and then moved on to other locations such as Whitewood, Davidson, and Manitoba. Hopefully we'll see those sites coming online within the next month or two. Uh, it seems October may be the proposed timeline for opening those. Tesla really doesn't give the public many details on the rollout. And the proposed map on their website is just plain wrong in some cases. Uh, if you like my videos on electric vehicle topics, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss out. So the big news here is that the Petro-Canada gas station on Coleman Crescent in East Regina is home to the fastest EV fast chargers in the province as part of the Petro-Canada's national EV charging infrastructure rollout. The site was officially turned on and available for testing two nights ago, and so yesterday a number of EV owners showed up to try it out. Earlier in the day yesterday, South Power, the government-owned utility company, brought their Hyundai Ioniq to charge. Later in the day, some Model 3s and a Nissan Leaf showed up. Then in the evening, we had a great turnout, including a Hyundai Kona, my 85D Model S, a Model X, a couple of Model 3s, and even a Chevy Bolt from Saskatoon. As far as I could tell from Petro-Canada's website, it appears they have five locations in Canada that are officially open and available for use now. As for Saskatchewan, they are planning on putting, on, putting in these fast chargers in Regina, Moose Jaw, Swift Current, and Whitewood. The Chatamo adapter that you need to use with the Teslas is capable well, pardon me, the Chatamo charger uh, is capable of delivering up to 100 kilowatts and the CCS is capable of up to 200 kilowatts. The CCS cable is liquid cooled, which is kind of neat. Uh, in addition to this new Petro-Canada site, there are two 50 kilowatt CCS chargers at the two Audi dealerships in the province, which have been available for, uh, I think, less than a year. I think it was winter time-ish. I don't know because I can't use them so when I was at the Petro last night, um, no cars were able to charge any higher than 55 kilowatts. The Tesla Chatamo adapter tops out at 50 kilowatts, by the way. I will put a link in the description below to Petro Canada's electric vehicle charger website so you can learn more about their efforts. Uh, in addition to what Tesla and Petro Canada are working on, some Canadian Tire gas bars in the province will also be getting similar level 3 DC chargers. Those locations include Prince Albert, Melfort, North Battleford, Martinsville, Humboldt, Regina, Swift Current, Weyburn, and Estevan. I expect those efforts to change people's views on electric cars here, especially in winter, as winter can be quite harsh. As a Tesla owner for nearly four and a half years now, it's almost surreal to finally see real level 3 DC charging progress here in Saskatchewan. I know Elon's tweeted since 2016 that we get superchargers in 2017 and then 2018, but in the end, neither Elon nor Tesla delivered on the promises. The first to deliver DC fast charging in the province was Audi with their CCS units, followed by the Chatamo CCS installed here by Petro Canada. At the pace Petro is going, they will absolutely have multiple EV fast charge sites up and running before Tesla even turns a single supercharger on here in Saskatchewan. It's disappointing and exciting at the same time. So a big thanks goes out to Petro Canada for coming through for EV owners here in Saskatchewan and for the EV owners passing through Saskatchewan and visiting Saskatchewan. If you're in the area of East Regina, stop by and check it out. Charging is even free for a limited time. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, consider subscribing and please leave me a comment below uh, on your thoughts on the topic of EV charging. Thanks for watching.